Welcome to you. Today we're going to take a look at the fixed Bluetooth adapter. Uh, just a really quick summary how to grasp these scanners. We break these into three categories, level one, level two and level three. Level one is a basic engine code reader. So it can read and clear codes. This right here is a level one scanner. You can read clear codes. This right here is a level one scanner too. You can read and clear codes as well. Uh, there is level two, those multi-system OBD2 scanners. We have here a couple right here, they can get into various modules on your car. They can uh, troubleshoot your check engine light, but they can also troubleshoot your airbag and your ABS light. They can uh, transmission, they can read and clear codes from those modules, look at some li uh, live sensor data from those modules as well. And then we have professional level scanners, and those professional scanners can get into all the systems in your car. They can read clear codes, they can sometimes program things, they can uh, test sensors. Uh, where does fix fall as far as these goes? A level one it's a basic ob2 scanner it's the same as that it's the same as this elm327 adapter that uh costs a lot less but let's go take a look like that in and see how it have plugged in um, fixed in the OBD2 port and in the dashboard and right here uh, w once you install the app you can go and scan for codes it will take about a minute and now this is only reading codes from the ECU engine control mu uh, module or engine control unit uh, that's important because that uh, will pull codes or diagnostic trouble codes that are related to the check engine light or service engine light so if you have another light on like airbag or traction control related this fix is not going to pull that code, it's not going to be able to diagnose that, so you got to be careful with that. Uh, here it tells you the code, uh, P0010, and it tells you that um, the impact, so if it was severe, so for example if it was a P0300, um, it would have been severe, you know, and it just gives you a little bit of idea. So that is a nice feature there. Right here, um, it's just really the same thing, uh, it's just rough running, the car is not really running that rough, but anyway, this is going to have some general uh, uh, consequences if you continue driving with that code and then additional information here it tells you a little bit of position sensor and what it does so it, it also you can schedule an appointment with local shops but there's um, we're going to keep that because you can find local shops on your own you don't need that and then the uh, same thing there uh, schedule service is the same button as we saw earlier buy parts you can buy parts ship them to you but so uh, check for recalls you can click here um, it, it takes you to the United States Department of Transportation website, so it's, it doesn't check for for recalls right on the app or anything like that. You can go to this website on your own. There's a URL right there, put a VIN number and scan the car. So it is not pulling the VIN and checking right on the app, so nothing special. And then uh, indication library, it tells you what all these lights mean but it does not mean that it can diagnose anti-lock brakes. This fix is not able to diagnose airbag ABS. So this is just a description of all these lights and it's not really that many. Uh, traction control, I mean fix is, is not able to diagnose traction control m module. That's a different module than an ECU or engine control module. So that, that's very important. So timeline, it just tells you like maintenance items of 30,000, 60,000. These are generic, these are not specific to your car. So here we have a BMW, these are not telling you, hey, this is what you should do at, for BMW at 60,000 miles. So this is just generic recommendations. It, it, you would be better off going to your owner's manual and seeing recommendations there for your specific make. Um, so you can see here, let's go back to the app. Wear and tear, you can register when you change the battery, tires, wipers, and then it will remind you uh, at you know, 40,000, 50,000 miles for tires or um, th th things like that. So, and then logbook, it tells you codes, scanning that you've done in the past. And then live gear, it can show live data. And this is data that's only coming from the ECU. So, for example, you can pull like mass air flow sensor, you can pull um, oxygen sensor values and things like that. All that data that goes to the ECU can be seen here. So it's actually, uh, it's a little bit disappointing because as far as fixed goes, it's nothing more than an LM327 uh, chip and it does not scan like other modules. It's only scanning, um, you know, the engine control unit. So basically another alternative, something else that you can do 
for a lot cheaper than um, fixed is get an M327, go anywhere, eBay, Amazon, and just search just a Bluetooth OBD2 Bluetooth adapter. And you'll see a bunch of M327 results. Just pick one, some of them sell for as little as $10. And then you can go and um, get a free OBD2 um, app. We like Torque and we're gonna show you like what Torque does, but there's other apps. Now Torque is a free version, there's a paid version, paid version is still under $10, it's about five, six dollars. So um, together an L327 and Torque will be under 20 bucks versus buying Pix for, you know, 60 or so. Um, but an L327 still is gonna do the same things that Fix does, for example, you know, read full codes, you can come here, read full codes. You can come here, you can see a real, um, live information similar to what you see on fix like you see speed throttle acceleration um, But you also you can do more things you can add gauges here You can see like the live data from the mass air flow sensor oxygen sensor and things like that um, Torque also can save the code you can see a map and you can see how you've been driving in different areas If you're stuck in traffic, it'll show where you burn a lot of fuel or if you're driving Aggressively it'll show where you were doing that as well. So that's torque and you know it, it it's basically a lot less than fixed and um, that's one option now if, if you really all you're trying to diagnose is um, the check engine light and you don't want to deal with um, all these Bluetooth adapters and using your phones any OBD2 scanner you just can go online just search an OBD2 scanner plug it into a OBD2 port and it's going to tell you hey this is you have this code and then you just take that code and you go online and research what it means for your particular make you know got you got a p4 uh, 300 go online and search p300 honda code and then you'll get a little bit more details and see what other people are uh what problems are having now one thing that uh, i want to uh, also explore was these other multi-system scanners um for example here we have carly carly this is for bmw now this scanner it's way more powerful than fixed it runs about let's say it's still under a hundred dollars it will only read the check engine light uh on you know on cars but if you plug this into bmw then you can diagnose abs airbag transmission everything other um adapter for example a blue driver it's a bluetooth adapter and that one you can plug into the obd2 port and that also on certain makes it will diagnose more than just a check engine light and the blue driver it runs just under 100 but it's definitely worth considering instead of buying uh, fixed and for for 60 and then you know you only are getting to that check engine light versus like the blue driver you'd you'd be able to get into um you'd get into like the abs transmission modules and like various modules now you have to look at their description because they don't co cover all makes and models yet but that's another option but like with Kylie for example you can actually register a battery uh, on a bmw you have to do that on certain cars like bmws um you can um you can go and program things like you can program like the iDrive. Uh, you can program the size in there so like if it offers for example a lot is for example this lunch uh, lunch creator this is a multi-system obd2 scanner this uh, will scan like abs this will scan transmission airbag light and of course it will uh, scan your check engine light right so from all those modules you can read codes you can clear them you can look at live data from sensors from each module so overall face doesn't offer a whole lot more than uh, just a basic elm 327 adapter install a free app on your phone for about ten dollars you'll have the same functionality as fixed thank you for watching